Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today we are back with our 70 days until Halloween series and I have three quick and easy DIYs to show you. I would really love for you to stick around and come along with me as I go through my DIYs and without further ado, let's art today. Jumping into our first DIY, we are going to be making over these candlesticks. As you see here, I was going to peel off the label, but I decided not to because I will be covering it. I have these letters from Michaels that were on clearance for a dollar, this ribbon from Dollar Tree, and those florals for Dollar Tree also. I believe they're picks, not florals. So I'm taking my ribbon and I'm seeing how much I need to cut off and then I will be hot gluing it onto the candlestick. And I repeat this process for the second candle as well. Now that I have my ribbon all glued down, I'm going to be taking these letters that I got at Michael's that were on clearance for a dollar. And I just love how they give you both sizes of the letters, capital and lowercase, and some numbers as well, just for a dollar. You can't beat that. So now I have my letters out and I'm going to be spelling out the word spooky. Now I'm going to be placing them a little bit jagger just to add a little bit more character. And I repeat the same process for the second candle as well, but I spelled out the word scary. Now I still think that something was missing, so I'm going to be adding more ribbon to the bottom of my glass jars, still using hot glue to hot glue everything down. And I repeat the same step for the second candle as well. And now I am going to be adding some embellishments. I have these purple pumpkins that Dollar Tree is now selling. I think they're adorable. And I'm going to be adding the pigs as well. Now I personally am just going to be using these candles for decorations. I don't plan on lighting them. So if you do, please use a stronger glue that can withhold the heat. So I glued down the pumpkin and I'm going to be taking one of these leaves from the picks and I'm going to be gluing it on the side of the pumpkins and then adding some berries as well. I do the same process with the second candle, but with the second candle, I cut the purple pumpkin in half using a box cutter just to see if it would look better, which it did, so I should have did it with the first pumpkin as well. <laughs> And here's how they turned out. I think they're so adorable, really easy and simple to do. Now you don't have to add the extra embellishment like I did. You can just put words on them and it still would look so adorable. But I just loved how these turned out and it adds a little flair to my little spot into our second DIY I have found this cute skeleton candy holder at the 99 cent store for $1.99 so I picked up one and I was going to spray paint the outside of it black but I decided I really love the pop of the orange that it gives so now I'm taking some of this creepy cloth and I'm going to be inserting it inside of the skull's head to act as a little hider because I am going to then add some floral foam to the inside so I'm just finding how finding out how much I need and I'm cutting it down and if you could take a moment to please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already be sure to click on that bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video and I would love for you to be a part of my art family now I'm going to be removing these trees from the boxes. I am so excited that I found these Halloween trees at Dollar Tree. These are new to me. I've never seen these before, but I'm so glad that they carry it. Now I'm just removing the piece that holds the feet together and I will be fluffing each tree to one side only so that I could connect them and make a bigger tree. Now that my little trees are fluffed out to one side, I'm going to be connecting them together using some jute twine. And the only reason I'm connecting them together is because these trees are a little sparse and if you connect both trees together, it makes a fuller, thicker tree. 
I will be doing more fluffing now that the trees are connected and I'm going to be moving the branches side to side so it adds more support to the tree. Now to attach everything together. So going back to my base, I'm just going to be hot gluing one piece of the flora foam because it would in stick to where I like it but this is not necessary. The tree is very light so it won't move around. So I'm going to add the tree to the flora foam and push as far down as I can and then I'm going to take that creepy cloth and push it back inside of the skull. Here's how our tree looks with it inserted into the skull's head. That kind of sounds morbid but it is truthful I mean it is what it is so I'm going to be adding some of these Halloween lights that I purchased at Dollar Tree I believe two years ago and they still work just as fine and I'm going to be working from the bottom and dragging them all the way up to the top of the tree I'm just removing these little ornaments that Dollar Tree now carries for Halloween. I think they're so adorable. And I'm going to be placing two ornaments on one string so that it has a fuller effect. But before I add the ornaments, I'm going to be taking this cute Dollar Tree ribbon that has little candy corns on it. I'm going to be attaching it by tying it on the top of the tree. And then I'm going to be weaving it in and out of the branches of the tree. My goodness, I wonder how many times I say tree in a video. I wonder if anybody has counted because that is crazy. Now I'm adding some of these ornaments to the tree and then I also have these foam skull heads from a year ago I believe I bought them they're supposed to be glass fillers but I'm going to be attaching them to the tree using hot glue. Moving on to my topper of the tree, I'm just going to be making a big bow. So I have leftover ribbon from many years that Dollar Tree has carried, but by far this orange one is my favorite. So here I am struggling trying to get the bow that I like and I'm going to be a attaching everything together using jute twine in the center. I continue this process with another ribbon that is from Dollar Tree also and I will be fluffing each of the ribbon out to my liking and attaching both of them together still using jute twine and for a pop of color I'm going to be using these purple bows with a skull in the center and I'm just going to be hot gluing it to the bow. I am attaching the bow using the jute twine that was left over in the center of the bow and tying it on the top of the tree branch. I'll be cutting off the excess jute twine and I'm going to be continuing to fluff out the bow until I like the fullness of it. And here's how it turned out. I love this one. I love that it's unique and that you can totally customize it and change it out however you like. I love that the big bow at the top gives it such a full effect and it only cost me a couple of dollars to make and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and I love that it adds something to my home decor. Moving on to my third and final DIY for today, I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree materials. This gather sign, trick or treat wooden cutout, and this three piece wooden sign as well. But I'm just using the tombstones from the three piece, so I'm removing everything from it and cutting off the hangers from each sign. After I have everything removed, I'm going to give each of the wooden signs a thick coat of gray acrylic paints. I first start with this trick or treat sign and like I said it's gray acrylic paints and I will be covering the whole thing and I will continue moving on to the tombstones as well. And after I paint each of the signs I'm going to put it to the side so they can dry and then I will start painting the gather sign that's going to hold all my signs together with black acrylic paint. I put that off to the side to dry as well. Now I'm going back to my wooden cutouts and I'm going to be dry brushing 
black acrylic paints all over each of the coffin and also the tombstones as well to give it that creepy old spooky vibe. I make sure to paint the edges of the wood pieces as well and then I do go in and paint the backs just to give it a finished look. Now I'm going in with some green acrylic paints and I'm going to be dry brushing that onto the bottom of the sign that we painted black and also all over the tombstone to give it like an algae almost like goo slime feeling all over everything. Now I'm going to be attaching everything together. I am showing you that there is a piece on the back so you can hang it on the wall and I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to attach everything using these cubes from Crafter Square at Dollar Tree to hold everything in place. So I'm taking four of those cubes, hot gluing them together, and then I'm going to place them onto the stand and then hold the trick or treat sign so I can see where I would like to place it. I will be doing the same method with the tombstones as well, but with the tombstones, I'm putting them at an angle so the piece wouldn't look so flat. I attach everything using my hot glue gun. You can use a wood glue, but it's really not necessary. The hot glue held pretty nicely. Now moving on to the embellishments, my favorite part. I am going to be adding some fall leaves to this, but before I attach the fall leaves, I'm going to be adding this glittery ribbon that Dollar Tree carries every year, and I'm just going to be hot gluing it to the center of the stand. I did go back and forth whether to use this haunted galvanized uh, sign that Dollar Tree carries every year in a three pack, but I decided not to because I think it had plenty of wordage on it. Now I'm hot gluing the leaves down to the sign and that is it. <laughs> Here's how it turned out. I really enjoyed making this piece. I love how all of the colors combine make it look aged and old and creepy. Now I am showing you here that you can mount it to a wall um, using the hole provided in the gathered sign. Mine is just being held with a thumbtack and it held up pretty nicely. Um, you can add two just to make it even, but like I'm showing you here, it's holding up nicely. Another option to do to really make those words pop is maybe putting some scrapbook paper or any type of paper behind the wooden pieces so that you can see the words better but i just love how it turned out here's what it looks like on a tabletop i still adore it i think it's one of my favorite out of the three please leave a comment down below to tell me which one of the three diys is your favorite i would love to know also if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time i upload new content and please give this video a big thumbs up so that i can continue making these videos for you and as always i will see you in the next one